So here it's Frolfoss 21s. Yes, both of us on the same set for the first time. Um, we're going to be doing a segment on speeds today. So, um, Greg, will you please explain to us how the Innova ranks their speeds? Yes, Chris, I will. Um, the the scale for Innova's um, speeds are 1 through 13, and they are based on how fast the disc travels through the air. Let's take a look. Um, we do not have any Speed 1 discs because they're pretty... Uh, uncommon and they go pretty slow so people don't really like using them. Um, they are putters. Putters are speeds one through three but the only speed one disc that Nova makes would be the uh, Polecat, Birdie, and Sonic. So um, we can start off with the speed two disc. Uh, here we have the AVR. It's a pretty common speed two disc. Uh, you'll find an AVR in most uh, beginner and mid skill level players bags because it's a no, Innova's uh, most popular putter, and uh, it's just uh, it's got a pretty like thick thing, which makes it travel a lot slower through the air, and that is why it is a speed two disc. Next, we have this very nice R Pro Pig here. It is a speed of three, as you can see. It's uh, maybe a little bit flatter than the AVR, um, a little more aerodynamic, so it flies through the air faster. This is, uh, like I said, speed three. Other speed threes are the Hydra, which floats in water, and um, a dart is another speed three. Here we have a, a speed four uh, Star Mako. A Mako would be the first disc that would be considered a mid range because mid ranges are speeds three through four, or not, excuse me, four through five. Um, it's just a, it's once again a little bit thinner than this pig, and um, it, it's a mid range. <laughs> Next we have this DX Gator. It is, um, once again, a little bit thinner, but uh, flies a little bit faster through the air. Takes a little bit uh, less power to, um, to go the same distance as any of those other speed. Fives include the Coyote, and um, let's move on to speed six. Uh, here I have a Champion Leopard. It's a speed six. Uh, speed six through seven begin the... Um, the fairway driver uh, section, like type discs. Um, some other speed di uh, speed six discs would be like the Gazelle. Um, it's just a, once again a little bit thinner than the um, mid range. And the fairway drivers, you can begin to start going forehand with more confidence than the uh, speed four to five discs, which you cannot throw forehand with any accuracy. Next, we have this Champion Eagle. It is a speed seven disc. Um, it's pretty similar to the uh, to the Champion uh, Leopard. It's a pretty similar profile. This this one in particular, you can throw a very well forehand. Um, other speed sevens are um, the T Bird, which is also endorsed by uh, world famous disc golfer Ken Kleinman. Uh, here I have a speed eight uh, and of a dragon. Uh, one of two discs that Innova makes that floats in water. It is the first disc that is considered a distance driver. Um, speed 8 discs are quite difficult to throw forehand, but it can be done. Um, uh, the only other speed 8 disc that I'm aware of is the Archangel, um, which is very similar to the Dragon, except for the fact that it does not float. Next, we have the Speed 9. This is a Champion Viking. Um, it flies... Okay forehand, um, although better backhand, other speed nine discs are the Innova Valkyrie, which is one of the most popular discs sold by Innova. Here I have a uh, beautiful speed 10 Monarch. Um, once again, the Monarch is, is primarily thrown backhand, but it can be thrown forehand. Just a little bit lower profile than the Viking here, which makes it um, a speed 10 because it flies farther and faster through the air. Um, so next we'll take a look at the Speed 11 and 13 discs. Um, there is a Speed there is speed 12 discs, discs the Excalibur and the um, Destroyer, but uh, we do not have any of those discs currently with us. Um, the Speed 11 disc, as you can see, has a little bit lower profile, once again, than the Speed 10 disc, but it does have a much larger profile than this extremely flat and streamlined uh, Speed 11 or Speed 13 Pro Katana. Um, Greg, you want to elaborate? 
a little more? Oh, I'd love to. Um, speed 11 is when the discs start getting into um, the wider rim here, and uh, the wider the rim, that usually um, is an indicator of a higher speed. So um, you can see this has, it's about an inch wide, and um, other uh, speed 11 discs include the Wraith and um, the T-Rex. Here we have a uh, Pro Katana. As you can see, it's a very wide rim, um, close to double any of the other discs, um, indicating a very high speed. Other Speed 13 discs are the Boss and the Groove. Um, you, you can see here, this is the Speed 4 Mako and then the Speed uh, 13 Katana. You can just see how much thinner the rim on this Speed 4 disc is than the Speed 13 disc. And uh, once again, we do apologize for not having any Speed 12 discs to show you, but um, they do exist. And you have anything else to add, Greg? Um, watch more of our videos.